Welcome to another video where we talk about content creation and repurposing. And in this video today, I am so excited to introduce you to SubMagic. SubMagic is an AI video editor that helps enhance your short form content, shorter video clips. It can also extract clips from longer form content. In this video, I wanna show you step-by-step step how we go about polishing, enhancing the content that we generate here at Face World Media. I wanna mention that Submagic is very different than some of the apps that I've discussed on this channel. For example, Munch, Opus, or Video AI, and even Pod Intelligence, which is something that we developed in-house. The tools I mentioned just now primarily focus on generating clips and shorter form content from long form content like webinars and long form podcasts. Submagic caught my eyes because it enhances short form content. Now, let me tell you why that's really important. If you haven't checked out Pod Intelligence, which is a tool that we developed in-house and something that we use religiously for webinar and long form content, I'm gonna include a video right here for you to check it out because it can automatically add and suggest B-roll, for example, as well as images. Because Submagic already recommended these B-rolls, that means that we don't have to go out there and search for everything, decide when, where we insert them. Instead, we can just review what has been recommended and either add at the lead or change it into something else. Submagic also works with multiple languages over 50 as the recording of this video. Even if there's a dull moment in your video with a combination of B-roll and captions, we notice a significant increase in watch time. All right, as mentioned earlier, the way we go about selecting these clips and Q&As is through this app we developed internally called Pod Intelligence. So after we have found the clip we like through topics and keywords and speakers, we then simply click on the download video button right here and it takes literally one second for it to be populated and we can use it right away. Now, I have selected a particular clip from a webinar that I hosted as part of Women Leaders Association and this special moment here is with Mark Cuban. So within the homepage of Submagic, I can simply start a new project. To do that, I have two options under new project. I can generate captions at trendy captions and B-rolls, which is what we're gonna focus on. But if you also wanna explore their magic clips, which is making clips from long form videos, you can also choose the right hand side. You can choose the right hand option here. So if you choose generate captions, all you have to do is basically drop your assets there. As you can see, the different formats are MP4, MOV, and not more than 90 minutes, and the maximum size is two gigabyte. So I just did that. Now what I can do is click on the edit button and I'm gonna show you what you can do with Submagic. This part gets really exciting. First of all, you can see at the top, you can stylize like themes, your different captions, and you can, secondly, you can look at the actual captions that are generated by Submagic. You can make changes if need be. Third is B-roll. So when you first click on it, you will see that Submagic is actually analyzing your video and then to recommend B-roll, which we'll cover in just a moment. Last but not least, you have Boost, which specifically this is part of Submagic AI that you can ask it to generate AI hook title. You can further enhance the audio you can ask some magic to suggest AI descriptions and hashtags. So all that is being processed right now, I'm gonna go back to the very first one to show you what it looks like. So I like the Hormozy style captions, just nothing too busy. And if you wanna change it to a different one, all you have to do is click on that and you can preview what it looks like. Now you can change the size and the position. I personally prefer to have the captions bigger on the video. I like these sliders to make it super easy. Now I have to remind you that not only you're able to create landscape videos, you can also create, look over here, upper right hand corner, our vertical videos. You see everything is not only realigned, but in addition, uh, you can see this is what's called safe zone. You can turn it on or off so that you know generally on YouTube and social media, the elements that are gonna be hidden. You know, oftentimes we see these captions are completely hidden by, you know, the username, the description. So Submagic will help you identify the safe area. You can also change it into square assets. I mean, these are very versatile as well. So there's a lot to choose from. Remember that you can change these colors to what's on brand for you. At any point, 
that you're able to export the clips without any further edits, right? I'm gonna show you everything, but know that you don't have to go through everyone before you export the video. So with that said, let's take a look at captions next. So first of the accuracy, look at the top, AI captions accuracy. This is a guesstimate and um, it is really quite accurate. Now, if you have proper nouns and words that are easily misspelled like names and company names, uh, what you can do is you can click on the add button and simply add it to the Submagix dictionary. I think this effort is totally worth it, especially if you find yourself talking about a certain niche or you tend to repeatedly interview the same people. Um, I think it's absolutely worth adding those proper nouns, people's names into the dictionary. If you want to get rid of the phrase such as ums and ahs as captions on the video, you can simply eliminate them. But remember the audio itself is not gone. It's still going to be there. If there's any spelling that is wrong, what you can do is simply type it in the correct word. In addition, you can change the coloring. You can add a line break if you want to split into another line. You can add or remove a word. I think the B-roll part, it's really where some magic shines. A lot of the times that we don't want to just go on Pexels or somewhere else to start searching for B-roll and insert them and resize them. It is a lot of work. But instead, here what I do is I ask Submagic AI to recommend B-roll and even Magic Zoom as needed. Um, you know, you see the difference there. And you can get rid of, you don't have to use Magic Zoom. I feel like Magic B-roll is sometimes sufficient. There's a little dial here. You can choose the percentage of Magic. Um, what I find useful is I tend to keep my B-roll between 20 to 30% because sometimes the clip itself, it's only a minute or two minute long. I feel like 50% of a B-roll is just simply too much. You or your brand may have a slightly different preference and usage or depending on the clip. So definitely feel free to explore the percentage. I actually am very pleased with this one. A woman standing up speaking. Transcript here, as you can see, this is about there are men in the world who diminish the skills of women who are leading. And then you can see right here, this part of the B-roll is blank because we want to go back to Mark Cuban speaking, right? And then here's the next clip. Very cool. Now, remember, if you don't like this clip, what you can do is either trash it. Once you do that, I actually like that one, so I don't want to trash it. Let's see this part. So this part, for example, I don't know what this B-roll is all about. Maybe I don't like it. I'm going to just get rid of it by clicking on the trash can. And when I play it again, I can now click on the plus sign and choose a different B-roll. So when I click on choosing B-roll, you can see the keyword that was previously selected by Submagic. And before we even talk about this, I want to show you the fact that there are different B-roll and assets you can choose from. From the top, they're free videos, they're premium videos, uh, they're movies. I love that because there are a lot of movie references you may have seen on YouTube. You may be wondering like, where do people get that from? You can see there are B-rolls, uh, my B-rolls. These are basically footage that you capture, like your private stock that you can use. And they're also saved B-rolls. Um, you can star them and kind of reuse them at a later time. And for effective communication, what I want to do maybe is this one over here. So there you can also load more, obviously, if you don't like the ones that are previewed over here. And all I have to do is click apply and I can change the position. You can see how it looks. There's just so much you can do. You can also do contained. You see where uh, I'm preserving the landscape, which is the original video orientation, or I can simply uh, center it like so as a vertical element. I also love the fact that these B-rolls are really high quality, so they're not going to appear blurry or weird during export. So click on apply and there we go. So I think it's pretty straightforward right now. And if you don't want that harsh going from one B-roll, one clip to another, you can also choose here, which is set a transition. And these are all the transitions uh, you can choose from. This one is called retro filler. So you can see there's kind of some artifacts kind of floating on the screen. So yeah, have fun with it. And I think this really is a game changer. When it comes to images, you can select from free Jiffy, I believe that's what's called. And uh, you can actually enter a keyword here and be able to choose different GIFs. Last but not least, Boost. So that took not very long, maybe just a couple of minutes. So I like to basically select Boost. And then in the end, as I'm editing the clip, I'm able to see what some magic AI comes up with. 
So the truth about women in business, if you don't like this, you can click on regenerate, of course. I really love that one, by the way. And not only it has picked a title, it actually looked at the themes and the captions that you have as well and different font family positions. Remember that if you have a brand kit, you can actually save it inside Submagic and you don't have to really deal with what's recommended to you. Now, AI clean audio, a lot of the times, especially for webinars, when people are not using an ex external microphone, they're just speaking into their computer, the sound is not that great. And in this case, Submagic AI will actually further enhance the audio for you without doing anything else. I can see that it's uh, basically creates a little bit of a studio sound and really clean it up. But this feature is only available on Pro and Business Plan, which is what I have. Next, AI description and hashtags. Be yourself. I mean, these are the things where you can look it up if you have seen any one of my video, you know that I love the AI and human collaboration. I typically, for my brand, I don't just copy and paste what's here. And uh, But if you find it helpful, you can certainly experiment over time. Basically, some magic AI-generated description, hashtags versus what you pick as purely human, or you can take the hybrid approach where, you know, it's basically about reviewing, changing a few words here and there and make it truly you. And for the cover image, uh, what's interesting here is instead of having to design from a different app and bring it in, you can click on this icon here. You can search by name, for example, women leadership, and this is under free image and you're able to choose something from this list right away. Last but not least, music. You can add music here. You have three tabs to choose from. You have trendy music, you have premium music, and your own music as usual. Lo-fi is a category where I enjoy the most background music in general uh, so that, you know, the music doesn't really compete with the speaker. A lot of the content I deal with are podcasts and webinars. Remember, when you click this button under music, it's playing the music at 100% volume. But because you decide it's only 10 to 12%, which is often the percentage I choose as background music, then you click on this play button next to or below your clip. You will hear how quiet that actually is. There are also options here under the three dots. I want to make sure that you're aware of. You can download your SRT, which is your transcription file. You can also export only subtitles with these premium options. You can copy subtitles and add keywords to dictionary. And for export, now you have different quality because I have um, the business version. In fact, I have the enterprise version. I can export in standard 1080p, 2K or 4K. Even choose the frame rate. And for me, I'm pretty happy with 25. I think that's cool. When you work inside of a team, meaning your own team as well as with a client team, it's really helpful to be able to collaborate. This is the area where you can tag people on your team. You can further edit the video or copy the link so that they can access this. At the same time, you're not losing track of your description. So all the AI generated descriptions will basically travel with you, knowing that this is the screen where you most likely access everything, including the stop before you publish the content. Last but not least, you get the full transcription. You can easily copy and repurpose from here, even drop them inside another AI app such as ChatGPT is if that's what you prefer to create titles and descriptions. So I hope you find this helpful at any moment that you have questions. There's chat available in the uh, lower right-hand corner here. That's super convenient. I try to figure out as much as I can, but if I'm really stuck or if there's something that's specific that is specific to my assets, I will ask a question. There's also FAQs that there are commonly asked questions, you know, for example, like language support. Um, currently, some magic supports 48 languages. You can find all of them here. So it's just really convenient to have access to everything at your fingertips. So I hope you find this helpful. Let me know what else is missing, what else you like to learn. And I really look forward to hearing from you. I like these kind of slow down walkthrough tutorials. Um, and uh, I hope that we'll exchange some ideas so I get to learn from you too. Until next time, if you like this video, be sure to click on the next one on the screen. And I hope YouTube is right. And I'll see you there.